There we go. Okay. Uh, welcome everyone um, to this uh, Dow Labs webinar. Uh, we're calling this uh, Back to Basics. Uh, my name is Dr. Eric Karchmer. I'm one of the founders of Dow Labs. And uh, we thought this was sort of a great moment to um, reconnect with some of our practitioners and hopefully get to know some new practitioners and let you know about what's happening with Dow Labs and um, also to let you know how we can help you in these unusual times of uh, COVID, the COVID-19 pandemic, when many of us um, are probably not seeing patients or are struggling to see patients. And um, we thought this was a perfect time to think about what we can do with herbal medicine. That's what we specialize in and how can we enhance your practice and how can we um, get you uh, going with uh, some Dow Labs products and we think this is a great way to kind of move forward during this, these unusual times. So we thought this was a kind of a back to basics um, webinar and to get you re-familiarized with our products um, and to discuss some of the, some of their uses. Some, there might be some things that, some uses of these formulas that you may not be that familiar with. So let's go on to the, the next slide. Uh, and so, the, the, goal, the goals for this webinar are, again, to think about how we can use herbal medicine to supplement our practice during COVID-19 uh, when social distancing means that many of us can't see patients in our clinics. Um, so I think a lot of us uh, are used to sort of acupuncture first and um, herbal medicine second, or maybe no herbal medicine at all. And uh, because it's so difficult to see patients uh, under these conditions, uh, probably for many of you, or maybe um, maybe even all of you, uh, this is a great time to think about how you can incorporate herbal medicine into your practice and how you can perhaps move forward with um, Zoom consultations on uh, virtual um, meetings with your patients and be keeping them healthy, keeping them moving along, supporting them. And really this is a moment when they need more support than ever. Um, and so much can be done with herbal medicine. So this is a great, I think, opportunity to kind of like reconnect with some of the basics in herbal medicine. Uh, and I think in the process of doing this, we'll, you'll really be set up for a more robust uh, clinical practice in the future. You're, um, if you're somebody who doesn't use a lot of herbal medicine in your practice, uh, this is a great time to start um, learning how to combine it and take advantage of it um, and use it more. And there's so much that can be done with herbal medicine. Uh, I personally um, came to Chinese medicine a little bit more through herbal medicine and got into acupuncture a little, a little bit later. Um, so uh, my mindset is often to think of the herbs first, but I know that for many practitioners it's not. Um, but I do want to say that, that I do find that there is the possibilities are, are, are so wide ranging with herbal medicine. Um, so I want to encourage all of you who, who don't do it that much and maybe have been intimidated by it to, to start um, learning more and start getting involved more. And um, the learning curve is a, little, is a little steeper, but once you start getting into the basics, you'll, you'll, just, you'll see there's so much you can do. Um, and this is the perfect time to start doing it. Uh, so today what we, we're going to do is just sort of a quick review of the Dial Lab products. Um, and uh, go over um, sort of their general, um, their general uses and their properties uh, and talk about some important ways to use them uh, just in general, but also in this particular moment uh, of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So let's go on to the next slide. Um, so this is, Dow Labs is um, a company with a, a relatively small repertoire of uh, formulas. We plan to add to it in the future, but um, we started with kind of like what I consider and what we consider sort of the essentials. These are to me some of the classic formulas that um, every practitioner needs and um, that uh, these are the ones that, these are some of the ones that I just come back to again and again in my clinical practice. And so even if you're into sort of more advanced herbal medicine, um, more, more classical applications, um, uh, you, even if you in, enjoy doing uh, bulk herbs and uh, individualizing your formulas, um, I often find it's very useful to have these particular formulas on hand uh, because they're so easy for their patients and um, so useful and so wide ranging. So 
uh, anyways, we'll, we're going to take each one of these in turn, um, and I'll explain to you the, their foundations and sort of the, and the classics um, and, their, and their uses. But on the left are our are, are names, immunity support, which is Yuping Feng San, and emotional balance, which is Xiaoya San, and uh, women's formula, which is Su Wu Tang, and digestive harmony, which is Bao He Wan. Physical tranquility is Tian Wang Bu Xin Dan. Mental tranquility, which is Gui Pi Tang, and joint fatality, which is Du Huo Ji Sheng Tang. So we're going to take each one of those um, uh, in turn. But first, let me just say a little bit more about um, Dao Labs. Let's go to the next slide. Um, and so we just want to say also what we do at Dao Labs, I think, is probably a little bit different than um, your other suppliers. Um, not only do we have sort of a, a, a smaller repertoire form of this, but we've We've tried to approach them differently and try to be innovative, um, not only in how we design the formulas, but also in how we um, how we work with practitioners. Um, this webinar being one of them, just trying to kind of reach out and provide services to practitioners. Uh, but the kind of the key thing that we've been doing so far is we've really worked um, to flavor our formulas. Uh, so we start with um, herbal medicine granules and then we flavor them but we do it in ways that we think are really special. Uh, uh, my partner, our, uh, our, our chef, Travis Metzger, as, and I have worked very closely together to like develop flavors that um, we're quite proud of them that really try to enhance uh, the taste of the formula itself, um, but without masking it. So it's, uh, I think when, you, when your patients drink it or when you drink it, you're aware that, um, you're aware that you're drinking um, an herbal medicine decoction, but one that's kind of really pleasant to, to taste. and. Um, the flavors we've tried to kind of stick with, um, we've tried to kind of work within the principles of like the, uh, the, the principles of flavors themselves within Chinese medicine and be consistent with sort of like what's happening with the formula so that the, so that the experience of it is, um, in other words, it's not like everything tastes like bubble gum um, and uh, uh, just to get it down, like you're taking a, a cough syrup or something like that. Um, so we've really worked hard on that, um, and uh, we know that for some of our customers, it's, it's a really enjoyable experience. I think practitioners who have uh, worked with these formulas um, have enjoyed them too, and, uh, and, I, and I can't really back this up, but we do hear from a lot of practitioners that they feel like they maybe get even better results through, um, through these particular formulations than they're used to just with the raw granules. I, don't, I can't totally explain that. Maybe it's just better compliance with the patients, but we think uh, patients will tend to love them. You'll, you'll love working with them. And um, there's a lot of convenience behind um, just how we've designed these uh, formulas. So we hope that you enjoy them too. Uh, let's go to the next slide. Uh, we do often get questions about dosage. And so we just want to let you know that um, uh, each formula is kind of is based on um, sort of the classic ratios, these classic formulas. The formulas are probably the same that you studied in your textbooks in school. Um, and then we've kind of pre-dosed the, pre them either in sachets or with scoops. So each portion is really a, um, what would be a standard amount um, if you were just taking raw, if you were just taking the raw granules. So it's completely appropriate for patients uh, and it would be recommended, I think, in most situations for patients to take, uh, take their um, particular formula twice a day whether that's two sachets a day or two scoops, but one in the morning and one in the evening. Uh, and that's a, that's a good amount. We've also kind of done it so that, um, that uh, if you wanted your patient to take a third serving in a day, um, that would be fine when needed. You're not really gonna be, you're gonna be kind of getting into maybe the sort of the upper limit of what you might want to, a patient might want to be taking in a day. Um, but probably uh, that's gonna to be totally fine if you do that on occasion. Uh, so you have that, you have that option, but, um, so we've kind of, we, again, we've kind of pre-measured pre pre measured them so that, uh, um, you know, a dose is right there and it's easy. A patient uh, opens the sachet, scoops out the, uh, scoops out the powder and they're, and they're ready to go. Uh, so let's go on to the next slide. Uh, so, uh, so here I want to kind of just kind of walk you through um, the uh, individual formulas, um, and we'll do that um, sort of one by one. Um, some of you are, are more familiar with these than others, um, but uh, uh, for the purpose of this webinar, I'm just gonna assume that uh, it's, a, it's a good review for all of us just to kind of look at the, the properties and the basic uses. And so I've kind of summarized them and I've got a few tips here and there. Uh, so 
Uh, immunity support is our version of a uh, uh, Yuping Feng San, or also known as Jade Windscreen sometimes, Jade Windscreen Powder. Uh, this formula supplements tea, it fortifies the exterior, um, and it also stops excessive sweating. Uh, now, how do, we, how do we use this formula? Um, well, uh, what it's really supplementing here is, is defensive qi. And so one of the most important uses of this is to kind of protect against patients who have recurrent colds or upper respiratory tract infections. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, so this is, uh, and if you look at your textbooks, this will be sort of how it's presented. So this would be the sort of, basically, this is the sort of patient who is um, getting, uh, you know, a cold or upper respiratory tract infection, um, maybe multiple times in a, in a flu season. Uh, uh, and when they do get it, um, they, they take a little while to recover. Uh, that's sort of your classic patient. Uh, um, and if you, have a, if you have patients like that, this is absolutely the thing to have them on. Uh, during flu season, but now also during the COVID-19 pandemic, this really would be a sort of a must for those patients. And you'd probably see in those patients, you'd probably see a, a pale tongue, uh, maybe, a, uh, uh, maybe a puffy, swollen tongue with the teeth imprints around the edges, um, probably a little bit of a white coating. Uh, if you see that, you know that you've got um, uh, a great patient for this formula. And uh, this formula works so well at protecting um, patients um, who are in those situations. I really just can't recommend it highly enough. Um, I would say it's maybe I wouldn't use it universally for every person who comes along uh, um, and needs some protection for COVID-19 pandemic, but I would say this is sort of like your, should be your first thought. Like if somebody's looking for some, if they're complaining about some just immune issues in general and they feel like they're vulnerable in many ways certainly this would be you want to think of this formula first it's, it's so good for that uh, i would add it's also um and i have um longer webinars on this too uh, but it really is also excellent for basically for pollen season and all kinds of um, allergies uh, this formula supplements qi but it also has some it also has a feng feng one herb to like spell wind um, and so we can think of allergy season also as a moment of of a deficiency when winds and um, other things floating on the winds are uh, irritating our, our, our system um, and this is something I often go to too if suddenly I've got itchy eyes or I'm like sneezing and my nose is run, running uncontrollably in the spring it's also great for that. So that's, it's sometimes hard to think of um, allergies and upper respiratory tract infections um, as being appropriate to be treated by one formula, but of course this is the way Chinese medicine often works. So, but that's a great um, formula for those um, situations. Um, so anyways, this is a, this has been one of our top sellers, um, you know, these last few weeks and again recommended highly if you've got patients who are, who are vulnerable uh, but I think on uh, you know, on that topic we'll see I think a lot of these products um, are going to sort of achieve some similar results too so if you feel like there's you have other products are better fit for your patients you know I, I would I would recommend going going with the product you think is the best fit let's go on to the next slide um, so emotional balance is Xiao Yao San and this is um, I, I'm told, I think probably the, the best-selling formula, like in like the whole world of Chinese medicine, at least outside of China, probably. So it's extremely popular formula. Uh, <clears throat> its its basic properties are it's 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 both kind of a very complicated formula, but in other ways, it's um, it's kind of simple too. Um, at the root, this is a formula that treat, treats liver qi constraint, or some people will say stagnation. Um, liver qi constraint is at the root of it, uh, but there is also going to be um, some element of spleen qi deficiency and probably um, a little bit of liver blood deficiency. It's the liver blood deficiency that um, sometimes allows the um, liver qi to not be dispersed and to not flow properly, which leads to constraint, which then kind of leads to the spleen qi deficiency, and that in turn can make the liver blood deficiency worse. So it's kind of this triangle of um, effects here. Uh, so this is a, a wonderful formula and it's used very, very widely. If kind of our textbook uses, um, our textbook descriptions of it are, um, 
don't totally hint to the wide range of uses of it. Uh, but so your textbook description would be sort of pain in the flanks or maybe this, uh, the ab abdomen war towards the sides, alternate sensations of hot and cold, um, headaches, uh, fatigue, reduced appetite. Um, and then this has a lot of uses, um, a lot of gynecological uses. And in fact, historically, it kind of began as a formula for women with, um, uh, with, uh, with irregular menstruation. Um, it's great for breast tenderness and abdominal cramping. Um, so in terms of some tips uh, on how you can use it, I mean, I think one, one way that it's become very popular, um, I mean, popular over the last sort of century or two, has been really to focus on this element of uh, liver chi constraint and emotional volatility. And that's the reason why we call it emotional balance. Um, but if you have liver chi constraint, it's very common to see sort of some sort of emotional um, volatility that results from that or vice versa that be, uh, the problem may begin with that and um, kind of end with liver chi constraint. Um, so that's a great tip on when to use it. Um, so for example, um, because this does address um, spleen chi deficiency, so sometimes if you're dealing with digestive problems and you really see um, a strong emotional component to it, um, this could be a great uh, option. I've had patients with IBS, and um, but it's the emotional component of it that's really predominant, and that's a great situation where you want to come back to emotional balance. Um, it, it is frequently used to treat, uh, deal with just sort of like the stress of, you know, everyday life. Um, and I don't know if that's worse or better these days, you know, where most of us under are um, under stay-at-home orders. Um, but I would sort of look for that, look for the liver chi constraint, look for the emotional volatility. And then in, within gynecology, um, it's so useful. Uh, it's both, um, and if we think of the, the menstrual cycle, uh, the Owen's menstrual cycle as sort of being, um, as being sort of de de determined by the relationship of chi to blood, this is a great formula really that's gonna help with dealing with um, issues of chi. So sometimes for promoting ovulation, I'll use it in the middle of the cycle, sometimes towards the end of the cycle when women are struggling with um, PMS and other symptoms like that, when these hormonal shifts are happening in a woman's cycle, I think those are great, often great opportunities to um, use uh, emotional balance and where liver chi constraint is often kind of the issue that kind of is at the core of these problems. Let's go on to the next formula. Um, digestive harmony is um, our name for Bao Huo Wan. Um, and this is a, an incredible formula, uh, so useful. And I think also with many, many uses right now during COVID-19, so I'll talk about that in a second. <clears throat> so uh, technically sort of our textbook definition of what this does is this formula reduces food accumulation. So, and harmonizes the stomach. Um, so, and indigestion is actually probably not a bad translation for what it, what it treats, but this, this sensation of like food sort of not going down, getting stuck, uh, uh, that's that horrible feeling of indigestion. Uh, this formula uh, guides the movement uh, in the digestive tract, makes the food um, go down, makes that and what's called a, a accumulated food or stopped food or blocked food uh, proceed down through the digestive tract. Um, kind of at the root of this formula is that this idea that if food kind of accumulates or stops, uh, other things get blocked. So chi gets blocked and then dampness builds up. So this is a formula that deals with, has you know a set of herbs that are dealing with the dampness and phlegm to a degree, also moving chi and then a number of herbs to kind of guide that food down through the digestive tract. Um, so in the most immediate way, this is a formula that relieves um, indigestion um, and it can be the sort of thing you use um, kind of as needed if uh, somebody's just feeling really ill after a, a, a big meal or something like that. This is a great go-to formula. Um, and it is for, and in, in our textbooks, we'll often say this is for overindulging in rich foods and alcohols or perhaps foods that have been sitting out too long or um, unclean foods or, and that can kind of almost really include um, leftovers that have just been around a little bit too long. The symptoms, the symptoms we'll see will usually be abdominal bloating, pain, um, maybe some reflux and belching, some vomiting. Um, 
loose stools, although that may or may not be loose, there may or may not be loose stools. Um, I would uh, say that in children, it's, I'm gonna talk about children in just a second, uh, it is a great formula if, if your kids are having loose stools. Uh, so this formula, let me talk about the tips here for a second. This formula has so many uses. I think one misconception about it is that it's thought to be a formula that that's only treats excess and not deficiency because we've got our other formulas like Sejun Zetang, the Four Gentlemen's Formula and things like that that treat spleen chi deficiency. Um, uh, and it, it, that is true to an extent, except that we want to recognize that in um, many digestive situation, uh, condition, conditions, there's often deficiency and excess together. And if you don't address, address the excess here, um, you may never be able to get to the deficiency. And, and vice versa, there's a, uh, at least a lot of my teachers um, when I was studying in China would be cautious about supplementing um, too vigorously when you did have um, when you did have phlegm and dampness, and that might be clearly visible on the tongue, um, and with the concern that um, supplementing uh, too early, too quickly, would actually end up kind of making the phlegm and dampness worse, and just kind of complicating the process. So it is a formula that um, uh, really can be used quite widely for a lot of uh, patients with digestive issues. Um, I would say it's also potentially very useful for insomnia. Um, we're, we've got two forms of specific for insomnia. We'll talk about that. But, um, uh, and, and this is because at, at, at the root of a lot of sleep issues are digestive issues. And so if you, there's a classic statement in the inner canon, if the stomach is not settled, um, the spirit um, will be disturbed, something to that effect. And um, so, um, some, this may not may, this may or may not be quite sophisticated enough to get to all the digestive problems that can lead to and uh, lead to disturbed sleep and insomnia, but this is um, um, at least a great starting point. And then I would say that this formula has a lot of uses for kids, and um, and some of its uh, uh, origins. It was more designed for kids. We, uh, kids will often, um, and I, if you were ever using it for kids or recommending to your patients for kids, you would want them. You would have to guide parents on how to. You know, cut the dose back. You wouldn't want to give a full sachet to a child, um, but uh, but I just throw that out there. Uh, kids who often, when their kids are often struggling with digestive issues or complaining, complaining about stomach pain, or sometimes at the end of a cold, end up with a, a food stoppage uh, that leads to some diarrhea and the stools for a while. Um, this is kind of your key formula for so many pediatric issues. Okay, let's go on to the next. Uh, slide. Uh, so women's formula is uh, Su Wu Tang. And uh, Su Wu Tang is sort of the, the classic formula in Chinese medicine for, uh, for supplementing blood. And it also harmonizes as well. So it supplements and harmonizes, uh, emphasis more on the supplementation than uh, harmonizing, but it really does both of these things. So it's got a lot of wide uses. It's, it's used most widely in um, gynecological um, conditions. And um, although it's not limited to that, so um, but but we'll, we'll focus on that on the gynecological issues um, first. And menstrual irregularities are a big part of it, and you may see light periods, um, and these are going to be ca caused by blood deficiency. Uh, but you may also see women with heavy periods that are sort of leading to blood deficiency. Uh, in both of those cases, um, and sometimes the heavy periods are also caused by blood, a little bit of blood stagnation too. So if you start to see those um, those situations, uh, this formula can be can really be really appropriate if if used correctly. Um, abdominal cramping again can be caused by a number of things, both the blood deficiency, but also some blood stagnation can be part of that. Um, postpartum pain um, and heavy blood loss. This could be a great um, formula for women recovering from childbirth, uh, where women have, um, you know, uh, major, uh, not only major blood loss during childbirth, but just sort of the, um, um, uh, the challenges and the, uh, the toll on the body of, of pregnancy and delivery and all that. Um, can lead to increased um, blood def blood deficiency. In, in fact, kind of in Chinese medicine, most postpartum women are sort of considered blood deficient by uh, almost by definition. Um, so there can be there's a lot of um, really great uses there too. Um, and I would say you know if you're if you're a practitioner who's um, uh, uh, 
relatively new to the herbal medicines. You might not want to be treating uh, women um, who are pregnant who are pregnant with herbal medicine, and we certainly don't recommend any customers who are who are trying to buy our uh, formulas online to take them while they're pregnant. Um, but I would say that for, for those of you who, who are um, more familiar and comfortable with the, or with the herbs, um, there's a lot of things you can do for, for signs of miscarriage during pregnancy. Um, this would be at least um, um, uh, one form of that, could, that might be very useful. Uh, one way we do recommend it at, uh, at Dow Labs is that um, it, as, as a, this is a great formula for women who are uh, kind of at the, at the beginning of their, of their monthly cycle. Um, one of the theories in Chinese medicine is that every, you know, every month uh, a woman is losing, losing blood and that just uh, with her, with her menstrual, with her menstruation and that takes a toll on the body. And so this can be a great way to kind of start, start the cycle and kind of get things off to uh, a good start and help regulate the cycle for doing, doing it for, you know, five, six days right, right after uh, menstruation ends and at the beginning of the cycle. Uh, let's um, move on to the next slide. Um, so mental tranquility, uh, and I'm, then I'm going to talk about physical tranquility. So we've got two formulas that we that we uh, really promote for um, uh, sleep disturbance, insomnia. This formula is uh, our version of uh, Gui Pi Tang, uh, which means uh, restore the spleen or return to the spleen uh, decoction. This formula supplements qi and blood. It's typically classified as a blood supplementing formula in your textbooks, although the herbs primarily uh, the herbs, the herbs are probably more um, supplementing blood than chi than blood, uh, but it's the blood supplementation sort of happens through supporting chi. So it will strengthen the spleen and nourish the heart. Uh, so this formula also has a, a wide number of uses, um, and uh, you know one of the ones that we really recommend here is for patients with or with disturbed sleep, insomnia. And this may be uh, folks who have trouble getting to sleep, but also maybe folks who wake up frequently and can't get back to sleep. Uh, that may be accompanied by heart palpitations. That's not uncommon uh, with insomnia patients. Uh, forgetfulness is also very common. Um, they may have some reduced appetite, a little fatigue, a sallow complexion. Um, one of the um, really, one of the really important things about uh, this form of those, you want to see a, a tongue that looks like the looks on the looks something like this in the picture here. It's going to be pale. This one is um, a little puffy. You might see you might see tongues that are a good bit puffier. You can see sort of the scalloping uh, on the edge and, and a white coating. So there's there's very little redness. Uh, there's no redness at all in this in this tongue. Um, if, if you see a tongue like this and, and a patient complaining about um, uh, insomnia, this is probably a really good bet. Unless you're seeing like a really thick coating on the tongue where you've got signs of phlegm. In that case, you might want to deal with the phlegm. Perhaps you use digestive harmony first, and then and then begin with this. Um, this this formula also has great uses in gynecology as well, uh, because the other thing it helps to regulate is this idea of the spleen not governing the blood, pi uh, bo um, And this is uh, and the classic example of this is. Um, in, in menstruation, where we see women with a, a lot of spotting, excuse me, a lot of spotting, or very excessive bleeding, um, uh, you know, spotting leading up to or following uh, their um, uh, following their period, or um, just a very very heavy periods. Um, if if we also see a, also see a tongue like this, if it's clearly a, a problem of a chi deficiency. Um, then this is a great this is a great formula to go to, um, uh, and so this means that um, I would say for uh, probably for a lot of women who are sort of perimenopausal, you want to you know, always want to check and look at the tongue and um, on the con and and um, do a good consultation. Uh, but this is also a kind of a very a great go to formula for women who are perimenopausal. Perhaps you combine this formula with. A women's formula. So this is going to supplement chi, and then maybe you want to supplement blood a little bit more strongly um, at different times in the cycle. Um, a couple tips on this in terms of um, thinking about uh, the insomnia com component, because there can be some challenges with distinguishing between this and our next formula, um, is uh, look for patients who really complain about anxiety or this idea of like a racing mind, a mind that you can't turn off. Uh, those are two classic symptoms 
Uh, they may even complain of some heat at night and feeling hot at night. Um, that's not inconsistent with this formula, but, um, but more classically, you'll just sort of, sort of have uh, anxiety, racing mind. They wake up, somebody wakes up in the middle of the night and they just start thinking about the next day and they're planning and they just can't sort of seem to turn it off. Um, uh, that's, that's more typical of the disturbed sleep we find with um, this particular formula. Uh, and again, in the last tip, like look, really look for that tongue. Um, and you might um, ask your patients to uh, take photos of their tongue and um, you know uh, text them to you so that you can um, kind of confirm that di diagnosis. Uh, let's go to the next formula. Uh, so this is physical tranquility. This is Tian uh, Wang Bu Xin Dan. Uh, and this is the other formula we really recommend for for sleep. Uh, other, although you, it, like like uh, like mental tranquility, it has uses that go well beyond that too. So its key properties are um, it addresses kidney yin deficiency and heart blood deficiency uh, and settles the spirit that way. So and I've got more extensive webinars on how, on the differences between these two formulas, but. Uh, just to kind of um, refresh mental tranquility or Gui Pi Tong is going to treat a uh, heart spleen deficiency uh, and this is going to address um, a heart kidney yin deficiency. That's, the other one is really more focused focus on qi, qi and blood. This is really yin and blood. Um, uh, and because it's focused on a yin deficiency, you're going to have more signs of heat in this um, in patients who fit this formula. So they're gonna have restless sleep and heart palpitations, but you'll see things like excessive dreaming. Um, they'll have forgetfulness and that's gonna be shared between the two, but the, the dreaming, they'll be have more agitation at night um, and uh, maybe really kicking off the covers, um, uh, perhaps night sweats. Uh, it's, uh, it's sometimes gonna be a fine line between the, the differences, um, but, um, look for other signs of, of heat. And so the second bullet point here, if the palms or the soles of the feet are hot, uh, if you see constipation or you see like canker sores in the mouth, those are additional signs of, uh, of a yin deficiency, of a deficient heat in, the, in, the, in your patient. Um, and they're gonna probably be a better fit for this formula. Uh, now in terms of tips, the, the, I put another picture of a tongue here. You're gonna look for a tongue something like this, it's going to be red. It's not going to be too swollen. It might be even on the narrow side, and it should have like little no should have little coating. And this is a pretty nice looking tongue, but you might also see some serious cracks in the tongue. You um, might see an even greater redness in the tongue. Um, and if you see that, if you see that tongue, that sort of red tongue with little to no coating, or perhaps a geographic coating would be another one. Uh, then you know this is going to be a good fit. Uh, in general, compared to the mental tranquility, you're going to see sort of more intense heat and agitation at night. Um, and that will be, uh, those will be key distinguishing factors. And then I'd say one other tip is that if you see a red tongue, but you don't see, but you see a thick coating, um, like a greasy coating on it, um, then probably this is this formula is not a good fit. Then you really want to, and there's going to be some more, di there's going to be some digestive issues that are, um, need to be addressed first. Uh, digestive harmony may be, that might be the place where you go first if you see uh, your insomnia patients with, um, with that thick, coat, thick greasy coating. Um, so I would stay away from this formula in that situation because then the, 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 the cooling supplementing herbs in this formula will actually maybe make that phlegm even worse. Uh, if you see a tongue like this uh, for a woman who's um, in her kind of 40s or 50s and struggling with menopause and hot flashes and uh, uh, restless sleep and for, uh, forgetfulness and, and all that, this, is a, this can be a great formula for women who are um, in that particular mode of menopause. So you, here you wanna make a, another distinction with mental tranquility, which is that this is gonna be more about um, uh, you're really gonna have to see these signs of heat, the hot flashes, um, you're gonna see a tongue like this uh, and mental tranquility is gonna be more focused on that excessive bleeding uh, and probably more perimenopause and actual menopause. Um, and then one little note here too, just um, this is the one formula here that might be a little bit different than what you've um, studied in your textbooks. And I've got other webinars in our resource room uh, where you can, where, I've, where I do a deeper dive into the differences between these two formulas. Uh, but we use, we use a, it is a classic version of the formula. It's um, just a little bit uh, less well known. 
but we do like it because it uses a, a much smaller percentage of uh, Sheng Di Huang. Uh, this is Roman. Uh, this is sort of um, untreated Romania. Uh, and uh, the, the formula that you learn in your textbooks has a very heavy dose of Romani in it, which is very cooling, but it's also really can be hard on the stomach um, at, the, at those high doses. And so um, I, I don't like to use um, Sheng Di Huang uh, or, or Romani in those really high doses. I think it's just um, usually, usually, too, it's usually too much for your patient's digestive system. So we like this form a little bit better just because it's more gentle, this version. Uh, let's go on to the next formula. Uh, so joint vitality is a du huo ji shang tang. This is our formula really for, for joint pain, if you will. Uh, and it's a great, great formula. This is one I take personally all the time. I, I, I love this one. Uh, it, its properties are to dispel wind and dampness and treat pain from blockage, this B pain, this uh, B syndrome is sometimes called or B condition. Uh, but it not only does it sort of, and, and uh, for those of you who are, um, need to be reminded of like the, uh, what B means or blockage means, um, this is usually pain in the extremities, um, most typically caused by wind, dampness, um, and cold. Uh, but what's kind of neat about this formula and, and distinguishes it from other kind of classic, there's many formulas for treating blockage, but what distinguishes this formula from other forms is that it also has a whole number of herbs that are um, supplementing. So it's supplement, herbs to supplement the liver and kidneys. And you remember the liver is, relates to the tendons and the kidneys to the bones, uh, and also some herbs to tonify chi and blood. Uh, uh, the reason why I think this is such a great formula is that this is a, a gr so many of our sort of middle-aged and elderly patients are dealing with kind of um, pain in the extremities, chronic joint pain, fibromyalgia, um, and if it really is a joint pain that they're struggling with, this is just a great formula for them. Uh, so, you know, it will st strengthen the lower back and knees. It's going to support the joints, um, support maintenance. Uh, it's a great way to sort of help your patients with mobility. Um, but it's also kind of even for somewhat younger patients, athletes who have just sort of put their body through too much, um, really injured and damaged uh, some of the joints. And, I mean, whether it's cartilage damage or um, ligament damage or what have you, uh, this is a great this is a great formula for um, those uh, patients. Uh, I would say also this might be like a, a great formula for COVID nineteen as well. You've got wind and dampness dispersing uh, herbs in, in this formula. Some herbs to supplement chi, blood, liver, kidneys. So if you had a patient who was a uh, a good fit for this, struggling with joint pain, and you wanted to do something a little bit preventative uh, for COVID-19, um, he would be another. He would be another great choice. Um, uh, so it's it's not the sort of it's not the sort of classic uh, uh, Yuping Feng San um, immunity support uh, selection, but this 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 I'm sure would 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 do the do the trick for many of them. Uh, so let's let's go on to the next slide. Um, so that's a little review of, uh, of um, our, our, form, our key formulas, and there's some interesting ways that you can also combine the formulas, and we'll be doing some more um, webinars on that in the, in the coming weeks. Um, but we just wanted to also remind you about a, a few th important things about just working with us and working with the website um, and how you can be promoting your business. And so um, many practitioners um, do like to sort of buy our formulas wholesale and then sell them out of the clinics. You know, that may just not be possible to do at this moment. Um, but you also have the option of, um, uh, you know, working with them virtually uh, and then making, um, helping them make, make selling them formulas uh, through the website. And then you'll get, you'll get, um, you're going to get a commission through that. Um, so we want to, uh, just remind you that that that's a very uh, that's a great sort of uh, option for um, for our products in this uh, in this uh, these sort of circumstances and a very convenient way to um, be working with your patients. So when you but when you do when you are making those sales through the website, um, we want you to make sure that you um, be sure to remind them of your code. Uh, so that will help them to get a discount on their orders, what they'll enjoy. That'll also make sure that you get your commission. Uh, or you can um, 
you can use sort of the links. And so we want to remind you, and this is our second bullet point, that um, it's great to kind of go into the, uh, the practitioner dashboard and then enter your patients and the sort of the manage leads area. You enter their email. Uh, and then that'll that will connect all of their, their future uh, purchase orders to you and get you that commission, um, even if they forget to use the code or some. So what some will pro probably do. Uh, we've got patient summary cards. Um, those used to be for sale, but now they can be digitally downloaded in the resource room, and that can be an, a nice way to kind of um, send a little treatment plan to your patients. Um, and then our amazing uh, business development. Um, Officer Jen Ward uh, is always available uh, 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 by email, jen at mydollabs.com, um, and she can really kind of walk you through uh, a lot of these tricks. Let's go to the next slide. Um, so we're, we're, we're big fans of Instagram uh, at Dow Labs. We, we use it a lot. And uh, we kind of want to encourage you to use it and um, as a tool to be promoting your businesses. Um, so this is also something then can really help you with. <clears throat> and so she's, we've got less and less of tips uh, for you know real, ways to take advantage of Instagram and really promote your business and get the get the kind of word out. Uh, and so I mean, just a, a few tips. You know, we always encourage you to kind of like. Um, uh, make posts that really kind of give a personal take and kind of a glimpse behind, uh, you, you know, who you are. Um, we will encourage you to also like get images of the herbs up there to really let people know that they're not drinking emergency or some vitamin blend, but they're really drinking herbal medicine. Um, we want to encourage you to kind of like think about the viewpoint of the viewer, uh, and kind of share your own struggles and accomplishments and in terms of um, dealing with everyday health issues, that's it tends to be like very um, uh, uh, that, that that tends to be um, viewed very popularly by by um, a lot of folks who come to our Instagram site. Um, and uh, Instagram stories are also a new thing. Um, I'm just learning about them. They're they're but they're 10 second clips that are you know kind of live for 24 hours, and that can be a great way to connect with your audience. So. Um, when it comes to Instagram, uh, Jen is so much more competent than I am. So I really uh, encourage you to um, uh, work with her on helping to promote, promote your business through Instagram. I think that's a great way to kind of um, help help you and, um, again, be connecting with people in these unusual times. Let's, let's go to the next slide. Um, so we wanted to let you know that we're going to be doing sort of a series of webinars here to kind of really kind of, again, help uh, practitioners with um, in the coming weeks and to really think about how do we keep our businesses going uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic. So we've got them now planned for like Wednesdays going forward for like the next month. And um, so our, 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 our current topics are uh, COVID-19 and some case studies or any of you would interested in submitting case studies, challenging cases, and would like some tips on how to, how to handle that. Um, I would uh, love to see them or we'll, we'll try to work them into the webinar. Uh, uh, what about, you know, taking care of the, of the family? We're all stuck home uh, with, our, with our kids, with our um, with, um, uh, grandparents, with uh, other relatives. How can we best manage their health? Um, we talked a little bit about that even today. Um, the following week, we're gonna we've been doing um, some campaigns on the website to get patients to show us uh, their tongue and then to help them find the find their ways to uh, the, the correct sleep formula. So we'll talk about um, talk about that and some of the things we learned in that campaign. We were um, we were uh, almost overwhelmed by the response. It was great and uh, uh, and just like so intrigued by some of the tongues we saw. They were really really fascinating. Um, and then the following week, we want to go back to uh, Bao Hu Wan, uh, Digestive Harmony. This is a, such a great formula, and uh, I, think it's, I think it's just underappreciated, all the things that can be done with that. So we want to kind of get back into digestion with Bao Hu Wan on, on that week. Um, uh, we do have some uh, webinars that are going to be consumer-focused. So we've got one also next week on Thursday, uh, a Chinese medicine survival guide. So um, get your patients to check in on that. That'd be great. Um, 
we're looking to do some stuff through Facebook and through our, um, our, our publication, The Pulse. Um, so these are all great ways to kind of like stay connected with us and keep um, working with us. And we're going to try to hopefully help everyone build their practices and, um, uh, and move forward with herbal medicine in this time where it's so difficult to do acupuncture. Uh, let's just go to the, the, la uh, the last couple slides here and I, I won't read you, I won't um, have you read through all these slides but there's a we have in the resource room there is a there is a really we're building a pretty good library of information uh, that can be this might be a great time for you to check it out too if you're um, not as busy with the practice as we normally are but uh, there's all kinds of uh, podcasts that I've that I've done and some general um, training information in there uh, there is a, a number that are on uh, sleep, on fertility. Those are great. I think we've got one more slide to show you. Uh, yep. So the uh, kind of kind of goes on here. But so these are um, uh, all great resources in the in the resource room, and um, uh, some of them are a little bit more business focused. Uh, some of them. Uh, uh, here we've got how to, why to grill your salad. Um, some tips from our, from, uh, my partner and chef, uh, Travis Metzger. Uh, so there's a, there's a, there's a really, a, um, a wealth of resources, um, uh, in the practitioner resource room. So we just encourage you to take advantage of them. Um, and, uh, these can be, I think, great ways to sort of build your practice and augment your practice at this time and learn how to better work with some of these, these formulas. Um, so I, th I think that's it for uh, today's uh, sort of back to basics um, uh, webinar. Um, I want to thank all of you for uh, joining us and for checking out Dow Labs. And uh, we really see our mission as um, uh, as a, as an educational one about spreading the word about Chinese medicine, educating um, both practitioners and consumers. Um, teaching folks how to better take care of their their bodies and I uh, feel like there's no better moment to be kind of focusing on precisely this topic than uh, this one right now so th thanks again for for joining us and I hope to see you um, next week and in future weeks with our uh, upcoming webinars <laughs>